Hey, welcome to another episode of Beers, Jacket, Barbecue. Check out the rack of pork we did on the Rectech. Hey, the man behind the camera's Jack. I'm Craig. Today we got a rack of pork going. Um, had these again for a while in the freezer. Got them out. Couldn't wait to make them or make this. Got the Rectech 590 fired up. Got to set at 325 degrees. I'm um, just going to put it on there and just let it go till probably 80, 90, 100 degrees. Flip it let it get to about 130, bring it back to the this side, and uh, just let it finish off the 145 area. So, as you know, we're a Pit Patriot affiliate, so we got the all-American um, all barbecue seasoning that we hit it with. And you can see I gave it a nice liberal coat of this. Um, smells great, can't wait to try it. First time using it. So, looking forward to cooking this thing up. This is one of my favorite pieces of pork to cook. So, uh, really turns on nice and juicy. So, see you on the Rec Tech. All right, so like I said, I got this running at 325. I got my meter probe in. We're just gonna let it ride right in the center of the grill. We'll bring it back when we get, um, like I said, towards 80, 90 before we flip it. All right, so we just hit 80 degrees. Gonna see what it looks like. Ooh, that looks a nice color. So I just wanna turn it and spin it. Just gonna let it ride there until it gets to about 130, and I'm gonna bring it back to the other side, but boy, does that look nice. All right, so we just hit 130. Gonna flip it around again. Looks nice, though. That's just gonna leave it this way for now, and then when it gets to 145, I'll start probing some other spots, because normally I'll have a spot that's under 140. Uh, or under, or, you know, under 145, and I'll make sure we're done. So, uh, see you in a little bit. All right, so we just hit 145. Just want to double check some temps, because like I said, usually you find something. Let's ride at 145. That's higher. That's higher as well. All right, we're going to pull this thing off. Give us one second. All right, just gonna pull it off quick. Look how nice this sucker's looking, boy. Gonna let that thing, I'm gonna wrap it up, let it rest for about 15 minutes, and then we'll uh, cut into it and show you what it looks like. As always, cheers. Here we are, end of the cook. Rack of pork on the Rectech 590. Had it set to 325, um, covered it first in uh, Pit Patriots All-American Barbecue Seasoning. Put it on. When it got to about 80, we turned it to promote so to flip it, and then we kind of got to 135 or 130, brought it back over. When it hit 145, usually there's a spot or two that's a little, a little lower, but this time actually it was right on, so we pulled it off immediately, let it rest. It rose a little bit, but not a big deal. This thing's always juicy as can be. Um, so looking forward to having a bite of this thing. So let's uh, cut into it and see what we got. This is gonna be a big end here. Looks like it's done pretty perfectly here. Let me get a little bite off the corner here. Get a taste going. Color on this thing is just perfect. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Just a touch of sweetness, just some the good normal barbecue flavors, which is perfect, and their their rubs are always so perfectly balanced. So this is going to be a good one. Can't wait to dig in this one. I mentioned if you depend on when things came out, but we I cook like six, eight of these a year. Slice them up, vacuum seal them. We bring them out for meals, um, you know, with a, a vegetable or something, and just have this perfect meal. Such a juicy piece of meat when you cook it. And like I said, it was a past 145, which is fine. My wife actually likes it towards 150. So, cook perfect. 
another nice cook, color's perfect. Hope you like your scene. Subscribe to the channel, click the little bell notifications, and we'll see you next time.